Yeah. Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling. Uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. And now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Chico Vera! And now the producer's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, Corey Sanhagen! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Looking to land the right just out of range. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Head kick. Good night if that landed. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna set your body off. Both 
fighters back to their feet now. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Takedown defense holds up. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Fifteen seconds, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was too high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, round two. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice strike. Liver kick. Oh! Oh! How about that shin? Single collar tie now. Right hand punches the clinch. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, nice knee. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to it. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Try to chase down that fist. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, Continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, how about the...
speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, deep breath, deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Nice punch man over the top. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Watch knees to the body. DC didn't take him long. He's done, he's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Corey Sanhagen! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, you got that.